Next time you get an email or a text or an email or a phone call, ignore it for two hours. Just totally ignore all the incoming emails and text messages and phone calls for two hours. Here's the other side of it though. Talking about answering the phone every time somebody calls and answering all the DMs and stuff like that, it has to be strategic, right? You have to find your Zen, right? You have to find your Ricky, okay? There's a, there's a, <laughs> there, you know, there, there's, there's a Ricky to it because there's a lot of things that I completely ignore. This is key, this is big. I'm not a reactionary person. I'm not a reactionary agent. A lot of people, when they get an email, they jump right on it you know, and they react, they react, they react. I don't want to stereotype every single agent that reacts, but but the most part, they're average agents, right? When you take a second and, okay, every fire that you think you need to put out can wait. For example, if you're, like, if you're a reactionary agent, you're responding to every text, every phone call, every email. If you're showing property to a buyer, you're in the house with them, you're showing them, you're looking at everything, you're talking to them about what you might offer, what you think it's worth, and how nice it is. And are you even gonna look at your phone, right? If you feel your phone vibrating, you know somebody's calling you, are you gonna look at it? Are you gonna answer it? Are you gonna answer emails? Are you gonna answer texts? Are you gonna text people in front of your client? Not if you're a good agent. <laughs> I know agents that do I know agents that do that, but the really good agents, they want to give their undivided attention to the client that's in front of them. They're gonna ignore all this stuff, and then what happens? After you get shown get done showing the property, you tend to those fires and those what happened? The fires are still there to put out. They didn't go away because you ignored them for a couple hours. So why is it okay for us to ignore these problems when we're showing property? But it's not okay to ignore them when we're doing other things that are very important that we need to do to build our business. You know, here's the thing. When you start to ignore things so that you can be more productive now and you push those things off till later, it's an amazing thing that happens. You feel so in control now. You feel so in control of your business. It's not controlling you. You're controlling it. So try this. Next time you get an email or a text or an email, or a phone call, ignore it for two hours. Just totally ignore all the incoming emails and text messages and phone calls for two hours. For no reason, just ignore it for two hours and see how it makes you feel. It's so empowering because now you feel like you're controlling your business, you're controlling your career, you're controlling your situation. Other people aren't dictating what you do, when you do it, how high you jump and all that stuff. And so the way that I'm able to do so many things it's because I get up at 4.30 and I answer those DMs in the morning, right? Like today, I kind of I was at the bank waiting on something and I had some time and I was sitting there, boom, I answered a bunch of DMs right then. That's random, but schedule-wise, it's in the morning, I'll answer them all in the morning and then I'm done for the day. So if you DM me during the day, chances are you're not gonna hear back from me until 4.30 or 5.30 the next morning when I'm answering those DMs. So everybody thinks, I'm answering all these DMs, how do I do it? It's because I'm intentional about when I'm gonna do it, right? Every little step is calculated, you know what I mean? And so it's the same thing at night. People think this is crazy. At when five o'clock rolls around, I'm totally done, right? I, I shut work down completely, and then I switch over to father, husband. I think it's really important. A lot of people work till 10 o'clock. They wake up the next day and they're burnt out. <laughs> they're burnt out, they're like, their mind is like shot. See, there's two things, there's two things. When you're new and you have hardly any emails coming in, right, it's okay to be reactive. It's okay to be reactive when you're new. You don't have any, there, nobody's trying to, you know, hit you up that much. I mean, you, you don't have anything. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right, right, it's okay to be reactive, but what happens is, as we get busier and busier, then we don't adapt to try to continue to be more and more productive. We just stay, a lot of these agents stay in that reactive uh, state and they never really transition over to, okay, I have a lot going on. I can't just react to every little thing. Here's the other side of it though. There are moments that I have to react. I'm not saying I ignore every little thing. If somebody texts me and says, I'm ready to sign a listing agreement, you think I'm gonna ignore that? Absolutely not. You know, I wanna put an offer in or I wanna meet you right now to look at this house. Oh, I'm on it. I'm on it, doggone it, right? But here's the problem. Where do you draw the line with the things that you push off to stay productive and to, to, for your time blocking activities? And where do you, what are the activities that 
that you need to react to. See, that's the problem is people aren't differentiating. They're, they're just reacting to everything when really only a good 5%, 10% should really be reacted to. I'll tell you, negotiating a deal, writing a contract, a listing appointment, or showing property are four activities that I feel like are the, the highest priority over everything. And if somebody wants to write an offer, negotiate, have me come to look at their house to possibly list their property or show property, I will drop everything that I have and I will, <laughs> that's, that's what we do this for is to get into those scenarios. But everything else needs to, needs to be organized, you know, and so that you can get done what you need to get done. Some people tell me that I have a time blocking issue. I can't quite fit my calls in. I can't do this. And I said, you don't have a time blocking issue. You're doing something between the time that you are wanting to make calls. You know, you're, you're doing something between nine and 12. The problem is you're, you're having a priority issue. You're not making the things that you need to do a priority over these other things that you're doing during that time block period.